My name's Alfredo and this is Off the Strip Art. Introduce you to places just minutes off the Las Vegas Strip or take you on one of my many adventures. If this is your first time to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. More information is listed below. In our third day in Slovenia, we are going to Lake Bled. There's a Lake Bled castle behind me. We're going to walk around the lake, go into the middle of the lake. Then we're going to the caves and some castle in the middle of the mountain. So, ready for an adventure? Let's go. Drop dead. Holy crap! Why is everything an uphill in Slovenia? Oh. Drop dead. Welcome to Lake Bled Castle. This ancient castle sits on a cliff overlooking Lake Bled in Slovenia. It was built over a thousand years ago, back in the Middle Ages. Although there are some records that show that this was built in 1004, official records are saying that it was built in 1011, making it the oldest castle in Slovenia. Long ago, the castle was a fortress to protect the people who lived nearby. It was also home for kings and queens throughout history. Inside the castle, there are rooms filled with old armor, weapons, and even some old furniture, so you can imagine what life was like so many years ago. From the top of the castle, you can see breathtaking views of Lake Bled and the surrounding mountains. Welcome to Lake Bled. So we're on the Planka on the way to the island in the middle of Lake Bled. This stunning lake is nestled in the mountains of Slovenia. This lake is famous for its crystal clear waters and a tiny island with a church right in the middle called Church of the Assumption. So we are in the middle island in Lake Bled right now. This is the church traditionally. These steps, 99 steps, when people get married here, the groom is supposedly carrying the bride all the way up. 99 steps. Hmm. Oh, so we're almost to the top after climbing 99 steps to the top. We are on that island in the middle of Lake Bled. Oh, man, I'm telling you, I don't know if you guys saw how blue that water is and that water is blue because it is glacier water. This church dates back to the 17th century and it's known for the Baroque architecture and stunning frescoes inside. Legend says that if you ring the church bell and make a wish, it will come true. The island is also a popular spot for weddings because of its romantic setting and picture perfect views. We're on this island. It's not a very big island. It's actually kind of beautiful, steeple. And we're just gonna walk around the church, check it out. The reason we're hearing a bunch of bells is you can go in there, pay 12 euros, and ring the bell. For me, right, right, for me, right, that body for me. So we are trying Kokta, which is the Slovenian version of Coca Cola. Let's see how it is. Okay, so here's Kokta. So, it's almost like Coke and Dr. Pepper and root beer all mixed together. Like a ch like cherry Dr. Pepper. Yeah, cherry Dr. Pepper is closer to. So we are going to try this original cream cake. It's what our guide said it's the best, and that's what everyone has when they come to Lake Bled. So we're gonna go ahead and try it. 
Okay, so we are trying the original cream cake here in Lake Lead. It's kind of jiggly. Let's try it. Oh, he did say take the top layer off. Here we go. Just the right amount of sweetness, actually. It's like crumble, but softer. Kind of tastes like coconut cream pie. Comes with sweet wine. It's a very fruity wine. It's delicious. Cheers, actually. So that is our adventure in Lake Bled. It's a really beautiful place. Um, I wanted to go swimming, but one, we didn't have enough time. Two, I don't know. I mean, it's supposed to be clean, but it's very mossy. So I didn't want to deal with that in the van. Um, but otherwise, what a great place. Highly recommended if you would like to come, if you have no plans to coming to Lake Bled or Slovenia in general, please do. It's a beautiful place, the friendliest people. Um, it's more affordable than you think. Um, but yeah, absolutely highly recommended. Uh, so once upon a time, a scary dragon lived in the cave and the locals couldn't defeat so now we are making the drive to Prediama Castle, a remarkable castle built right into the cliffs. This castle is not only famous for its stunning location, but also its intriguing history. So we've just arrived at Prediama um, Castle. After our two hour drive, it's normally an hour and 20 minutes, but there was traffic, so here we go. So here we are at Prediama Caves. Look at that! amazing. Prediama Castle was constructed over 800 years ago and once was the home of a famous knight named Erazem of Prediama. It was kind of like the Robin Hood of their time. The castle is built into the cave mouth which allowed its residents to easily defend against attackers. It's like a fortress carved into the rocks. This room was used by soldiers to protect the castle. These little windows is where they shot their arrows and this is where they boiled oil or resin and dumped it on their attackers through this little hole. This room is the courtroom where they held trials for locals that committed crime. The room is adjacent to the prison where Ashley is looking into, but it's also adjacent to the torture chamber where most people were literally thrown down into and left to die or tortured. Okay, so this room is the torture chamber, which is really kind of scary I'm giving I'm getting so at night they say this castle's actually haunted this is the dining room of Prajiyama castle it's usually the largest room where the family spent their time this was the primary's room. It was the most comfortable room in the castle because it was heated. This part of the castle served as refuge for residents in case of attacks. The castle had many secret passages. One led to a nearby river that was used by Erezem, and please excuse my pronunciation of this legend's name. He used that passage to get supplies during a siege, making him almost invincible. Today, visitors can explore the castle's rooms, see medieval artifacts, and imagine what life was like in this extraordinary fortress perched high on a cliff.
Although this perch provides visitors stunning views now, this was used as an observation post where soldiers could spot attackers from miles away. We are going to the Postiana, Postiana Caves. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but I'm pretty excited. With this line, I swear to God, this cave is sponsored by Disneyland because who else does a cave with a line this long? Okay, so this is Post. Postonia, Postonia Caves. So this is a big production. They take at least a hundred people each time on these trains. Here we go! Oh, wow! The Postonia Cave is one of Slovenia's most famous and natural wonders. It's also known as the Queen of Caves in Europe. This cave is over 24 kilometers long and it's known for its breathtaking stalactites and stalagmites. Honestly, I was really excited to come to this cave, but it's not enjoyable because they really pack hundreds and hundreds of people in at the same time, and you're just herding through these lines like a herd of cattle. So this was um, a beautiful place, but a missed opportunity for them to provide a pleasant experience for, for the people that, that visit, honestly. I mean, look at all those people behind me. So the good news is, once you get through all that mess, it frees up, it's actually more enjoyable now, so I retract my comment earlier, so, I mean, look at this place, it's magical, it's beautiful. If you made it this far, thank you so much for supporting the channel, please hit that like button and tell me in the comments, did you like Lake Bled, Prediama Castle, or Postonia Cave? only post office in a cave in the whole world. Yeah. Postcard in the Drop oldest, uh, not the oldest, the only post office in a cave anywhere in the world. So we have just finished the tour of the cave and we're heading back, we're back on the train and here we go. So we just finished this evening with dinner, some gelato, and a live concert at the park. Tomorrow we go to Venice. For me, right, right, for me, right, that body for me, what, what, work it, work it, work it.